So an important question you may have is, how are you going to use your 50 minutes of class time now that it's all on you, dependent upon you, to go ahead and utilize that time as best you possibly can? So I have some guidelines here, and each week I will post some uh, different guidelines. It will be the same on most weeks, but sometimes when you have to prepare for an exam or you're working on a project, I will let you know exactly kind of where you should be focusing your time on so that you're not wasting your own time right yes and so I've listed some things here on how I should use my 50 minutes of class time and even outside of class so the first thing that you should always do every single day log into Schoology and then check for any updates or new posts inside of Schoology inside of Espanol 2 then the next thing you should do is go to Flipgrid and there check and see if you have any new posts or things that you need to uh, respond to. Uh, each day, Senor Irvin will be posting some things on Flipgrid that you can go ahead and interact with, and you will also will have your classmates and yourself posting to these exact same things, uh, posting some new posts inside of Flipgrid. It's a great way for us to interact and all speak in Espanol. So the first thing you do is like, okay, what do I have there? Take one to two minutes to go ahead and do that every single day so you can prepare yourself. The next thing that you should do is make sure you review the can-do goals. What are the can-do goals? Well, the can-do goals are the most important part of this class or this course. It's basically telling you what are we working on this week and what do we have to be able to do at the end. And so I have a list of the can-do goals in each one of these tareas. Uh, and so you'll have a re really good idea exactly what I expect you to be able to do. So I will post those can-do goals as its own little uh, post uh, on top of this section here. And then you can review them. Make sure you take a look at them daily and say, okay, I think I've got that. I can do that skill. Let me move on to the next skill. And if you have a question about a specific can-do goal, go, oh, I don't know how to do this one. The third one, I, I don't, I don't, we haven't done anything about it. Ask me. We'll make sure we get enough practice if you're not feeling you're, like you have the right skill yet, uh, right skill set. The next thing that we have here is you're going to take at least 15 to 20 minutes. So the big bulk load of your class is listening to and responding in Espanol on Flipgrid. So it's such a huge component of class. 15 to 20 minutes on a daily basis. You could even go beyond that. Okay, so uh, that's like your minimum standard that you should be going and doing there inside of Flipgrid, listening to discussions by my, from me from your classmates and then posting your own uh, posts and responses too. Of course, all in Espanol. This is about halfway, uh, a little bit over halfway through class, about 28 minutes. And then you, what you should do is on a daily basis, you should read your Casi Se Muere. You don't want to read all that in one shot. You could, but you don't really want to go in and have to do that. Reading a little bit out of, of it at a time, taking some notes actively. I would have a notebook right beside it and write anything down that you have questions on that you're going to circle different things. That's why it's super cool to have this uh, version of it because if you had the PDF here, you could open this PDF inside of something called Kami. Don't know if you know that, but this K-A-M-I is, is how we annotate different things inside of a uh, Chrome browser. It's free. You can go in there and basically be able to go ahead and take notes, be able to take your notes as far as in class. And it's fantastic. It's easy. And then you have your notes as part of uh, your reading. So you actually get some things. If you have questions, uh, ask Senor Irvin. So if you're like stuck on some, I'm not sure what this is, that's a perfect opportunity to go ahead and ask questions. If you want to even post those questions into Flipgrid, that's fantastic. I will be posting some questions on Casi Se Muere also that you will have to respond to. Um, and that is a great time to be able to do that here in this five to 10 minutes. Basically, that'll be about 38 or 40 minutes of the class period. So you have about 10 minutes left. What else should I actually do the rest of the time? You can work on any other writing activities, things you have to write about, or listening activity. They have a bunch of links to things. Just being able to listen to Espanol spoken in uh, the correct speed is a really good skill. So I have all kinds of things that are related to the can-do goals and some different things to be able to listen to. And then uh, you can go ahead and practice your vocab on Quizlet if you want. I have some vocab related to this book, Casi Se Muere. I'll just tell you right now that I don't have any vocab section specifically on the exams. The exams are related specifically to a can-do skill. So, for example, I have this can-do skill here. I could have a conversation with someone I'm just meeting to exchange names, ages, and where they're from. Can you do that vocally? And that's a key skill. 
Uh, it won't have anything to do with the specific, like you have to translate a word there, but Quizlet is a good way to review things. Another thing I highly recommend doing is working with a partner on your can-do speaking goals. So you can work on people, you know, with people on Flipgrid, of course, but if you want to work on with someone face to face, you have someone there actually in your class, work with them and then practice back and forth and then make sure that you both get it and understand it, critique each other and do those kinds of things. Of course, you can expand your vocab in a multitude of ways. I put Duolingo there, but you don't have to do it. Um, it's just a suggestion if you want to, if you have extra time or whatever it might be, it might be something you want to go ahead and do. Not required though. Okay. So I will put everything that you need to go ahead and do right in this tareas, daily work, right under here. But now you have an idea about how to go ahead and, and uh, use those 50 minutes of class time. Bueno, adios. Hasta la vista.